Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, you know, we're going to build some agents on SAP, right? So the video is all about how we're going to use SAP, you know, of course, the sandbox environment that we're going to use uh, via, you know, you're going to use their API via Business Accelerator Hub you know, and build some agents. So building some AI agents uh, to perform tasks on SAP. That's the agent of this video. So if you look at here on my screen, right, this is what we have here. It says inventory stock AI agent, right? You know, I've asked a question here, like let's say, so top 10 stock rows for plant 1710 and material FG 2022, uh, how much is that? 2026, summarize and enrich product info. And it says the following table, it gives you output, so on and so forth. Let me just take you to back to her. Now, this is what we have built here. It's called AI Agent Sub. So we're building this AI Agent Sub for SAP, right? SAP is a very famous company based out of Europe, uh, Germany, right? Old company, I think 1972, if I'm not wrong, started uh, more than 60% of enterprise applications are built on SAP globally today, okay? And uh, they're famous because of systems, applications, products, etc right uh, i know you would have used your time set at, at an enterprise the company it's built by sap you would have used erp it's built by uh, you know uh, sap you you would have used payroll built by sap you would have used success factors for hr resource management built by sap and it's a european company so for sovereign region all the european companies the big companies they use sap basically right and sap is not that good when it comes to uh, artificial intelligence or ai Right. The problem is that uh, a lot of SAP systems are still legacy, right? And for them, adopting it on the large scale, making rapid R and D and progress and integration is a difficult thing. They had launched Joule, SAP Joule, but that's really costly you know, for enterprise clients. And that's not for everyone, right? And also, there are bottlenecks uh, when it comes to Joule. Now, I've been building this agent hub that you see, it's called uh, SAP AI agent hub. Right now we have five agents. We're gonna keep on expanding the agents over here. Right now, if you look at here, we have sales order AI agent. It says fast read of sales orders with item drill downs for order to cast visibility. Uh, then we have business partner AI agent. It says, just for vendors basically, it says surface organizations, contacts and highlight master data gaps. And then we have purchase orders, PO, AI agent that says PO header snapshot with item pricing, quantity, and vendor enrichment. We have outbound delivery AI agent that says delivery execution view with PDI, picking, packing status, and item drill rounds. And then we have inventory or stock AI agent that I was just showing you. Uh, like just lately, I just showed you that, right? Uh, plant uh, S lock level stock visibility with quick summaries and product enrichment. So this is what we have been building. Now, when you build something by yourself, you have more flexibility and a way to customize things. Joule is really tightly coupled, really, uh, you know, where you cannot bring your own stuff, right? Let's say you, you want to bring your own agents built on different frameworks. So that becomes a bottleneck over there. And cost is something that I told you. And a lot of features probably might not be available where you want to build your own features like let's say you know solve some some of the use cases on sap then you have to bring your own ai agents up now so if you look at here it says streamline your sap s4 hana operations so if you don't know s4 hana it's an enterprise resource planning system designed to run on the sap hana basically it's a in-memory database platform so sap hana is a database platform on sap right and it's in memory and s4 hana is basically an erp planning system right now the other thing is it can run on on-premise and cloud both right you would have heard of i know sap is doing a lot of innovation as well uh, but they're a bit slow but that's fine because of such a large scale company you know they cannot move really fast actually but anyway so here you know you see we have we have this five agents Let's say I go into sales order AI agent. And right now we are using business accelerator hub. So business accelerator hub basically gives you a sandbox if you don't have a tenant. If you don't have a tenant to work, not everybody has it, right? But let's say you want to build capabilities and later, let us ship it on, on SAP. 
Uh, you can also do that. Not a lot of changes required. You know, once you have your own tenant. Now here we are using Business Accelerator Hub, and we got our API from here. And uh, you can find out everything here, right? Uh, SAP, S4 HANA, Cloud Public Edition, Private Edition, BTP, Business Technology Platform. That's their, of course, latest offerings last few years. We have Ariba, we have Concur, we have Success Factors, very old for HRMS, and a lot of other things over here. Now, you can build basically on top of it. Okay, uh, I'm a business accelerator hub. I have been building with the sandbox. Now, let's say I, want, I just want to find out top five sales orders for customer, right? I'm just going to click on over here and click on Ask Agent. And you can see it says Agent is thinking, it takes a little bit of time. I'll show you the code also, guys. You can see it says here are the top five sales order for this customer. All orders are of type OR. All orders have C as, as the overall HD process status and all orders are in USD. And you can find out, find out the sales order, the creation date, and the total net amount, right? And you can keep on asking different questions. You can copy, you can go back. This is the one thing, sales order AI agent. If I go back here, and let's say I wanted to know the business partner AI agent and say, yeah, maybe you can just say so top partners by name. Sometimes, you know, uh, there is a bandwidth issue actually, guys, when you work with the uh, APIs. So rate limiting is a challenge. <laughs> but when you're working, make sure that uh, you take care of that uh, through some kind of, you know, rollback windows and whatnot. So, you can see uh, this is the business partner AI agent that says surface organizations contacts and highlight master data gaps. You can ask questions like, let's say, business partners in a specific geography, like let's say Germany, find partners with you know incomplete address data, top business. You can see here the business partner summary. For some reason, the markdown is not being rendered properly. But if you look at here, it says, yeah, because the output markdown is not that good, basically. It, there's still a lot of things. Yeah, but you can find out customer 15, address, Berlin, city name is missing. It gives you Atlanta, you know, NU Tech. Then it gives you Export Technologies, PLC, again, again, based off, I think it's a UK based firm. Oh, that's a US based firm. Oh, that's surprising. Then we have Vectal AG, which probably we Dodge Land, here's DE. And you have a lot of companies over here, right? So. This is our business partner AI agent. Then you can go into PO also. So let's say, you know, I'm gonna say so top five purchase orders. And I have kept this for for a purpose because this supplier does not exist. Okay. Uh, if you look at this supplier, hopefully, if I'm not wrong, yeah, you can see it over here. No purchase order found for supplier. So I've kept that to make sure that it works, it's it's functional, it's not any hardcore thing. And I'll show you that code in a little bit here. Okay. Now this is purchase order. You can go ahead, this is outbound delivery. Let's say you want to find out outbound. So you can see it says so top five outbound deliveries for SIP2. Now this particular ID here, probably a customer ID, uh, if I'm not wrong. And drill one and so SIP2 details. So this is something, you know, it takes a little bit of time. And now you can see, perfect. Got a very beautiful output over here, right? Fantastic. Now you can see it says executive summary. It says total delivery is five and distinct SIP to party. Goods movement status, delivery status. It gives you SIP to party, shipping point, pick, pack, block. Uh, and for each line item also you can get it. Like let's say the first one you get this, for the second one you get this, so on and so forth, right? And SIP to details for this, name domestic US customer, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic, right? Back to Herb. And inventory I saw you. Let's jump into the code. One of the, one of the things that I will show you here also, right? How we've been building it. So we are for this we've been using Crew AI, and combine that with custom tools. Tools are nothing but then custom tools built with HTTP that connects with SAP uh, Business Accelerator Hub and get all the data that we need, right? So the SAP integrations have been made through custom tooling. So we combine that with an orchestration framework and then we use Gemini for this free trial kind of a thing, right? We don't want to pay any money for now. So you can see this This one I want to show you first agent. The rest of the agents are here. You can find out n number of agents over here, right? Now you can ask different questions. You can see demo questions. 
and of course this is what i wanted to show you async crew ai tool calling sap business accelerator hub sandbox for s4 hana sales order right so we are using s4 hana sales order api calls and i'll just show that how it works actually here so you can see this is the this is the cloud sales order endpoints and that that works through o data guys o data service that we have uh, on s4 hana cloud and you can see it says sap base url here that basically we part the pass the specific endpoint and then of course some configs to make sure that we don't exceed the rate limit and this is the custom tool that you see async o data get for sales order and we have written this custom class here that you see over here the description goes in we filter that based on sap query languages that we have right you can see the description o data filter we have a filter expression to constrain results examples one and so forth and then this fetches that information well i'm not using the validator i'm not using the validator oh that's very surprising i have to probably check that later it's not for you guys i was just i saw something which is not optimized i have to optimize this code a little bit this piece here the optimizer thing here the validator stuff now we have this class here that you see sales uh, sap sales order tool it's a base tool that you see and says query sales order and the descriptions you can find out uh, this is how we've written it. We, def we define an argument schema for identity data validation that you see over here. And then we use asynchronous functions to basically run that, right? And get all the info. So this is our tooling actually. This is the tooling that we have done. Fantastic. I'm very modular because then we can use the same tool. Uh, of course, wrap this up. I'll show you how I've wrapped this up in a fast API endpoint. So I can use the same thing on NATN or make.com or any other framework like Langchain. For example, because my HTTP custom tool is ready, right? So that's not a problem. And you can see here, I have initiated it. Query sales order tool, right? And then I have this agent configuration that you see. Yeah, I call it SAP Copilot for sales order. That there's a goal for this. There's a backstory. That's how Crew AI works, right? Role, goal, and backstory. And I pass the tool. So this is the tool that I've been using that you see over here. Allow delegation false, so on and so forth. So amazing guys, right? So this is how I built one of the tools and then start using it under my agent's repository or through orchestration. Now I have wrapped that up in utils. If I go here, I'll show you the fast API service. So I'll first show you the SAP client, which is important. So you can see SAP client over here. This is my sales order thingy. This is my client. And then I use the fast API endpoint also. So now the good thing is, I can use this sales orders or sales orders by item. So I can also ask by item, line item. And then I can use this on NATN also or make.com. So I can completely automate this entire workflow, right? Or a process. So this is also, I have done it here. And you can see it's running here in terminal. I just like, let's say, for example, excuse me. Let's just clear this bloody thing here. And I'm running, you can see Python 3 first agent.py, which is the agent. And you can see it over here. It, start, it says crew execution started. It creates this filter query that you see. And it brings up all the tool output with nothing but the data coming from SAP sandbox, right? Business Accelerator Hub on running on S4 HANA Cloud. And then it basically, uh, you know, give it to this agent. And it creates a final answer that you see, right? Fantastic. And you can find out the final output here. It says here just summary of the top five open sales orders for customer. This you can find out this output. Fantastic, right? Amazing. So this is how it runs locally, and we then also have it here on uh, AI Agents Hub. You can choose your AI agent and keep on expanding it. This is important to show you because you know the reason is it's a lot of enterprises, right? Globally, they work with SAP. And you know, SAP should, of course, they have to do a lot of things better on their AI initiatives, uh, making better decisions, of course. So uh, here you can see that, and we'll keep on adding more agents. And I'm working with some folks who has SAP accesses. We are using the tenant to uh, build this even in a better way, right? Bring up more agents across, you know, different products and systems that SAP provides. Also bringing some. Automation testing using Fury, right? Uh, or using an interface where they can do testing, create HTML reports, 
uh, and so on and so forth. So this will be part of it, guys. Let me know what do you think of this in comment box. And if you have been building something similar, happy to also uh, look at that. And you know, if you have any question, thoughts or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. And you can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. And I wanted to show you a couple of things before I wrap up this video, which is important. So if you know, if you if you want to master Agentic AI, get this toolkit, you know, Agentic AI toolkit. And this is not for people who are just learning, like just started learning AI. It still benefits them because they can use two things: Agenten workflows and learning roadmap. The rest of the three things are not for beginners. These are for enterprise leaders and startup builders and people who are working in the field of proprietary or uh, 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 scientific methodologies or frameworks to build better agent TKI solutions. These are for them. Don't buy this and say that, okay, this is not helpful for you because I'm telling you this is not for beginners. Okay. Uh, for beginners, yes, you can get the NTN workflows and the learning roadmap. I'll give that link in description. NTN workflow, there are more than 100 plus NTN workflows available. You can go every week. There's a new updates, you know, to that repo or folder. So you can get that. It's very important. Get that link. And of course, guys, like the video, subscribe the channel and share this video and your, you know, and, and this video and the channel to your friends and to peer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.